Welcome back to Journey Alberta. I'm Sean. My friend Jesse, he's around here somewhere. He's just using the bathroom right now. We are in Kananaskis. We're in the Sheep River Provincial Park. We are in the Sheep River Provincial Park. We just stopped right now. We're checking out a place called Bighorn. I think there's a hiking trail here. I don't really know much about it, but we just stopped off here to start with on today's little journey. We're gonna be going to, I believe, the Sandy McNabb Interpretive Trail. We're gonna walk a little bit of that. For now, while Jesse's using the bathroom, let's walk down this little trail here and uh, check out the meadow. Making our way back to the vehicle now. Nice little stop here. I believe uh, the sign said Bighorn. Really great views actually. We might have to come back out here one day because it looks like this trail that we're on goes further down, maybe even potentially right to the river. Maybe come out here early one day and spend the day down there, potentially. And that might be really cool. Well, we're at the Sandy McNab de use spot. And there was a campground here, so that's good to know as well. There's bathrooms here. Looks like I'm thinking some picnic tables I think I saw back there too. Ah, oh, it looks like we're right at the river. Pretty beautiful out here right now. We're the only ones here too, actually. Just Jesse and I. Jesse's right there. Hello. Oh. oh, wow, yeah. Nice little calm spot on the river here. It took us a slight bit of difficulty to find the trailhead. I wasn't totally sure where it was and I didn't really have it on a map. It's my bad for coming out here and doing that. But we found it, as you can see. Sandy McNabb Trail. It's about, I think, just over a kilometer. Personally, uh, on here it says an easy hour and a half loop. So it's a trail dedicated to Sandy McNabb and the foothills that he loved. So that's pretty cool. I've got my bear spray out here today in a holster on my belt because they are, well, because we're going hiking out here. And because whenever you're coming out hiking, even if it's a short, you know, just over one kilometer trail like we're doing now. You should have your bear spray and guess what? There's a bear in the area that we saw warning right um, true. when we drove in. There's a bear in the area I'm making lots of noise and I got my bear spray out on a holster on my belt. That's how you should have it.
We've been walking for a few hundred meters now. Jesse's getting a picture. It's very beautiful out here. It's very quiet is what we've noticed. So we're trying to make a little, a little extra noise, especially because there was the warning that there was a bear in the area. Uh, what I like to do in situations like that is call out with my voice. Bear bells tend to be ineffective as studies have shown. I usually call out, Ew! That's anything that's out here? No, I'm here. We've made it to kind of an overlook now. There's a bench right here, it's on the other side of the camera. There's a bench back where Jesse was before. Wow, amazing views of this valley here. Wow, <laughs> really good. And barely any um, effort required too for these views that we're seeing right now. And we basically have been walking on a relatively flat trail this whole time. So really easy so far. Something that I really like about this little trail so far, this interpretive trail that we're on, is like I mentioned the last time I was on camera talking, we saw a couple benches at this overlook here. We just passed another one, a third bench. I feel like I don't see many hikes with that. Well, I guess some of the hikes would be harder. There's a fourth bench Jesse's at now, with probably the best views yet, actually. Well, we're back at Jesse's Jeep. Had a lot of fun on this trail today. It was pretty cool. And exploring a uh, little bighorn area we first went to with the overlook. That was cool too. What do you think about this uh, Sandy McNabb trail that we were hiking today, Jesse? For roughly a kilometer, you get so much visual intake here. There's not a part in this that wasn't different in a sense. Like you're walking down a path, there's clearings, there's dense foliage, there's overlooks. This trail has it all. Like. If you want to start out hiking, I recommend doing this trail as like one of your first because it just gets you really into that spirit of looking at everything and experiencing a moderate easy hike. Yeah, and that's really what it is, is a, you know, a nice easy hike. We had, we enjoyed the views, we, we had fun going through the, uh, the forest, especially when it was getting a little, uh, a little darker in there and having some of the shadows come through and the, the light, which is really cool because it's the golden hour right now, so everything looks really cool. I had a lot of fun here. Jesse did too. Yeah, man. Hopefully you've had fun watching. Leave a like if you did. Comment down below where you'd like to see me go next. Subscribe for new videos coming every Friday. I'll see you next week.